Hi, this is Bill King with Water Online, reporting live from WefTech 2015. I'm here at the Ayrson booth uh, with Tom McCurdy, Environmental Division Manager. Tom, great to see you again. Great to see you too. And uh, I was hoping that you could tell us a little bit about a new solution that you have uh, on show here at WefTech 2015. Absolutely. You know, Ayrson has been uh, uh, sort of a pioneer in multiple technologies uh, for uh, air applications. And uh, now we are coming to the market with our biogas blower for anaerobic, um, uh, anaerobic digestion and biogas. So it's, uh, it's, it's an exciting entry into the market. And why have you chosen to enter the market for anaerobic digestion? Well, just like with the uh, performance cubed uh, efficiency uh, um, measurement with, with, um, with air applications, um, we saw a need for uh, biogas entry because people are trying to extract as much energy out of the wastewater plant as possible. And biogas is, uh, is one of those ways where they can actually generate power from the gas by burning it in an engine and, and generating power after that. And it's a, it's a very specific process uh, that requires a, a very robust blower in that chain. So uh, Arizon is putting our knowledge and our expertise uh, in the into the biogas market. And I know anaerobic digestion uh, has traditionally been a lot larger in Europe, I believe, than it has over here in the US, and we're just starting to catch up to that. Can you talk a little bit about the experience there as it may have in the biogas arena? Yes, and you bring up a very good point in that uh, Erzin has far more experience over in Europe uh, than over here. Uh, it really has, it's really just starting to take hold. But we have hundreds of installations, over 300 installations over in Europe. So, you know, our entry into the U.S. market is not without experience. We have maybe uh, close to 20 installations in the U.S., but I think part of that is that it's, uh, it's, it's a developing, emerging market uh, in the wastewater industry. Yeah, I totally agree. This sort of movement towards recovering resources and actually into the anaerobic digestion certainly growing over here in the U.S. So what, um, when a utility is considering airflow in the biogas process, what are some of the considerations that they should have? Well, uh, one, of the, one of the key features with, um, uh, with the Arizon machine is its uh, robust construction. The biogas coming out is corrosive and it's also explosive. You know, you're using that energy in the, uh, in the engine. And uh, so uh, with, that, uh, with those characteristics of the gas, which can vary depending on the process that you're pulling from, um, you, you need a blower that can withstand all of the uh, demands that a, uh, that a biogas stream will put on the blower. And Arison uh, uses our standard blower design as the basis, but uh, the materials that we use, uh, we use um, the, the, the internals of the blower are uh, coated with an epoxy coating that actually impregnates the metal. It's not like you're putting a coat of paint on there. So that resists the corrosion. And then the base unit itself, the, uh, the, uh, the housing of the unit, is made out of ductile iron as opposed to carbon uh, um, cast iron for our standard units because in case of an explosion, the ductile iron will contain that explosion. And then inside the unit itself, everything is rated for explosion proof. So it's like there's a, there's a longevity factor um, because of the materials of construction, and then there's a safety factor. So it, it becomes a more uh, long-term um, uh, uh, element or a long-term component in the system as opposed to the previous ones that are used in biogas, which are basically you know put in there and they know that it's going to be corroding away over a period of time. So it's, it's more of a long-term investment. When that utility starts thinking about anaerobic digestion, what's the appropriate time for them to uh, contact you and or start thinking a little bit about the blower? Right, well, uh, in, in, uh, uh, what, what we are finding, uh, especially uh, from the questions that we've been asking at this conference, uh, is that uh, a lot of the engineers don't really have a good uh, working knowledge. I mean, they have some working knowledge, but all the, all the particulars of the conditioning of the gas before and after the blower, uh, they, they, they tend to leave it to those manufacturers that package the entire system. 
So the way that I'm seeing the market is that there are going to be the packagers that the engineers rely on, uh, but in some municipalities, like in uh, some of the larger cities, they may have the engineering staff or hire on the engineering staff that has some level of sophistication there, but it really starts with a proper analysis of that gas to determine what, um, what that blower is going to be seeing. Interesting. So you mentioned there that the engineers quite often are like packaging together a biogas system. Does Aizen actually provide a whole biogas system? We do not. We do not. You know, this is the, the, uh, the biogas blower, all these blowers, all the machines that we make, that's our core competency. So we are looking for uh, partners in the industry, uh, and uh, that's part of what this what we call a soft launch here uh, is, is all about because we know that there is an emerging need and we want to bring forth what we do best and integrate it in with the entire system uh, that a manufacturer would be uh, uh, would be designing. And you mentioned that uh, some of the key features of the biogas blow that you have is this sort of uh, anti-explosive, you know, corrosive, uh, corrosion resistant yes. um, epoxy, those types of things. There any other key features that sets this biogas blower apart? Well, one of the things is the um, uh, the seal arrangement. Now, uh, uh, just like when in air service, you uh, you don't want any lubricant in the uh, uh, in the airstream. This machine is lubricated, just like the air machines. Uh, but the uh, instead of the air coming out and going through the seals and coming out through the vents. We can't do that with biogas because you'll have a buildup of the uh, of an explosive corrosive gas inside the enclosure. So special seals have to be uh, part of our manufacturing process. So it takes those vents and returns that flow to the inlet. So it is you know it's it's completely uh, gas tight, and not everybody does that. The other aspect of it is that the gas coming in is also uh, very saturated with moisture, typically. So uh, that you have a much greater chance of corrosion before the blower than after the blower when you know the heat of compression is applied. Um, so we have ways of uh, recovering that condensate, that liquid that generates uh, in, the, uh, in the inlet silencer and it's made of the proper metallurgy so that when it does condense it's not that the acidic nature of that liquid isn't slowly starting to rot the thing away. So there's, you know, the, uh, we're built for um, you know, we're built for the, uh, the, the, uh, the aggressive conditions that you would see in a biogas stream. So if our audience had questions, uh, further questions about the biogas gas blower that you're, uh, that you're showcasing here at WefTech, how would they find out a little bit more information? Well, they can go to our website, uh, www.airzenusa.com. And while you're on that, uh, the website, you can download a case study that uh, we've just published of these very uh, biogas blowers uh, in Alabama. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it goes into the detail of the design and, and, uh, and how our blowers hold up in that system. Great. Well, Tom, thank you very much for thank having you, us Bill. today. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too.